scientists always have an opportunity to change the experiment if it doesn't work the way they expect it to. Engineering is a little bit different. Designers and engineers generally prefer to find out something wrong before it's built instead of after because engineering failures can be disastrous. But engineering failure have happened and if nothing else, they're an opportunity to learn what not to do the next time. As we all know, a structure that is going to last needs to be on a solid foundation. And that's where geotechnical engineering comes in. Geotechnical engineers spend a lot of their time in investigating the rock and soil that the structures are going to be built on. You all must be thinking, soil seems pretty straightforward. After all, it's just dirt, right? But in reality, soil is the most complex environments engineers work with, and it comes with a lot of variety. If enough forces applied, the ground can shift and change shapes in intense ways. My PhD research focused on developing an analytical model to analyze structures such as high-rise buildings, bridges, offshore platforms, resting on deep or also called as pile foundations, embedded in different soil layers acted upon by various forces. The foundation of a structure should be built deep enough for the soil to withstand the forces falling on top of it. It is highly important to study a foundation soil's layering and its properties in order to ensure it's on a solid base. For example, in the case of the world-famous Leaning Tower of Pisa, the lean or failure was because its foundation wasn't deep enough to support the structure's weight and hence the tilt. It is fortunate that everyone saw this as a wonder and a tourist attraction. But now, the modern structures can be many times larger, and that's why the stakes are much higher. You definitely don't want to picture a leaning skyscraper on your hands. You all must be thinking to ask me, Ankita, don't you think there is enough research available on deep foundation design? Well, to answer that and the question on my slide behind me. Although extensive research has been carried out in this area, due to an immense increase in the urban development, most of the land we stand on is certainly sinking. The recent example of San Francisco's Millennium Tower is leaning three inches every year, despite a planned $100 million fix and has drawn comparisons to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Well, hello, it's 2022. Therefore, it is highly important to evolve new and updated techniques to analyze and build strong structures that stand without collapsing. So that's why I have embedded my analytical model into an open source software, GEOS version 1, developed here at FAU. This software enables usage of artificial intelligence techniques by training the ANN models and lets users obtain a stable foundation design. What are the benefits? This is a new way of finding how a structure displaces for a certain magnitude of forces, considering the soil layering and their properties. It is faster, easier, definitely saves millions of dollars as it avoids the large-scale field testing and imposes less stresses on the soil. So the next time you see a sinking structure, you now know that it could have been totally avoided, saving millions of dollars and lots of lives. Thank you.